All right, you're going to want to see this. We are about to break down a pretty wild new idea for an AI that deals with huge documents in a way I have never seen before. Get this, it doesn't read words at all. Instead, it looks at a picture of the page. And that one little trick might just solve one of the biggest headaches in AI right now. So let's start with the basic question. Why is this even a problem, right? I mean, why can't you just dump an entire book into an AI and have a conversation about it? Why do even these super powerful models kind of choke when you give them too much to read at once? Well, it all comes down to something called the context window. And honestly, the best way to think about it is like the AI's short-term memory. It's just not that big. So when you feed it a really long document, by the time it gets to the end, it's already forgotten the beginning. And it's not just a memory issue. It's also crazy expensive. The more text you feed it, the more computing power it needs, and that cost just explodes. Okay, so this is where a new model called DeepSeek OCR comes in with a totally brilliant, kind of counterintuitive idea. What if the best way to solve a problem with long text is to stop treating it like text at all? You see, the way AIs usually read is by chopping everything up. Every word, every comma, every space gets broken down into these little digital pieces called tokens. A single page can easily turn into thousands of these things, which, as you can imagine, fills up that tiny short-term memory, that context window, really, really fast. So here's the first big move from DeepSeek OCR. Instead of feeding the AI all those thousands of little text tokens, it does something beautifully simple. It just takes a picture. The whole page gets converted into one single high-resolution image. And this, right here, is the magic trick. The AI takes that giant image and it compresses all of that visual information down into a very small number of what it calls visual tokens. So suddenly, a page that used to be a thousand text tokens might become just a hundred or so visual ones. That's a massive, massive reduction in data. So how on earth does this actually work? Let's pop the hood for a second and take a quick look at the engine that makes this whole optical compression thing possible. It really boils down to a two-part system. First, there's the deep encoder. You can think of this as a super intelligent scanner. Its one and only job is to look at that picture of the page and shrink it down into those super efficient visual tokens. Then you have the decoder, which is basically a language model that takes that compressed information and writes out the original text, word for word. And this diagram from the paper shows you the whole flow. See, the image of the page goes in on the left, right into the deep encoder. That thing works its magic, and out the other side comes this small manageable set of vision tokens. Then, those tokens get passed over to the decoder on the right, which reads them and spits out the final text. Simple as that. Now, if we drill down a little deeper, that deep encoder part is seriously clever. First, it uses something called window attention to kind of zoom in and look at all the fine details. You know, the actual shapes of the letters. Then, after an insane 16x compression, it uses global attention to zoom back out and get the big picture. The whole layout of the page. It's literally seeing both the trees and the forest at the same time. Okay, this all sounds amazing in theory, but the real question is, does it actually work? Can you really squish a page of text down that much and then get it back perfectly? Let's take a look at the results. And yeah, the data is pretty compelling. That chart on the left basically shows that even as you compress the data more and more, the accuracy, the precision stays incredibly high. And the chart on the right, well, that's DeepSeek OCR going head to head with other top models, and it's not even close. I mean, just look at this number for a second, because it is wild. The model can take a document, compress it by a factor of almost 10, and still reconstruct the text with 97% precision. That is an absolutely incredible level of accuracy for that much compression. And what's really cool is how robust it is. Even if you push it to a crazy 20x compression, it still holds on to about 60% accuracy. The researchers even think this could be a useful feature, like a forgetting mechanism for less important stuff in super, super long documents. It's almost a feature, not a bug. So how does it really stack up against the big players? Well, look at this. A top model like Minora 2.0 needs almost 7,000 vision tokens to process a page. DeepSeek OCR, it gets a better performance score using fewer than 800. It's not just a little better, it's an order of magnitude more efficient. So you can see this isn't just some neat academic trick. This research could have some really profound implications for the whole field of AI, especially in how we deal with massive, overwhelming amounts of information. 
the real world uses here are just huge. I mean, imagine being able to analyze a 100 page legal contract or a dense financial report in a matter of seconds. This is also a giant leap for what we think of as OCR. It can do what the paper calls deep parsing, basically intelligently understanding complex stuff like tables and charts. In fact, it's so efficient that a single computer running this can generate over 200,000 pages of high quality training data for other AIs every single day. And check this out. This is a perfect example of that deep parsing I was talking about. On the left, you've got this messy bar chart from some financial report. On the right is the output from DeepSeq OCR. Look at that. It didn't just read the text, it understood the structure of the chart and perfectly turned it into a clean, organized data table. That is way beyond simple text recognition. And that brings us to the final, really big question that the researchers themselves are asking. We've pretty much always treated language and vision as two separate problems for AI to solve, but this paper proves that you can blend them together to get these huge gains in efficiency. So could this idea of optical compression be the key that unlocks the next generation of AI, the kind that can handle truly massive amounts of context? It's a pretty fascinating thing to think about.